Hello everyone, this is Vicki, Stitch and Button, and I am back for my bi-weekly check-in on what I am or am not doing at the moment. You know, it's iffy. Some days are better than others. I actually have a pretty good stack here. And, uh, I'm gonna get this going. I wanted to go ahead and Thank everybody that's subscribed. I got some new ones. Thank you. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So you, unless you don't like me, I mean, you don't have to do anything. I'm not telling you what to do, but if you do, you'll get a notification if you set that up. Uh, this is floss tube number 79. Today is, because I forgot to put the date last time, April 21st. <clears throat> it's a Wednesday and it's still daylight. So I've got my pooping a group is that what we say j long yeah so i'm i'm trying to just get it done so i can get more stuff done and get her done i have my stitching to show you i have some new stuff that i got in and i have my giveaway winner to announce at the end let's see well let's start with this stitching how about that I have been doing Ghost Stitch. I don't think I've done any other challenges. And like the Whip Wranglers, it just works better for me. I don't know why I don't do this more often, just on my own. Who knows? Maybe I need a little bit of a challenge in there too. But uh, basically, they call out a letter. Or sometimes there's other things. But most of the time, every day you get a letter. And you stitch 200 stitches on something that starts with the letter, the design name that starts with the letter. So the one day they picked Native American, uh, well, they they didn't pick it. I did, obviously. They picked N. So I had Native American Angel, and that is a Barbara Batts. I will put a picture in here. And I was able to put in a little bit over 200 stitches and I finished up her face and this hot pink-ish reddish going on there. So now she's got a face. No details yet, but a face. And it works. Still looking good. This is stitched on 32 count Navajo Treasure from Fortnite Fabrics. And I'm, I love their fabrics. I, I'm in their fabric of the month. Last year I got 32 count. This year I'm getting 28 count. <gasps> My nails match. Stop it. Um, and I do have these available in my Facebook group. Uh, let's see. As per usual, putting them away as we go along. Um, I did mention the ghost stitch, and that is, uh, sorry. I forgot to bring my little bin over. That is an event that's going on through Semi-Sane Stitchers. I do not know if they are accepting new people. I don't know. I haven't paid attention. I just go look at events and that's about it. Um, they might be. I don't know if you need a password or not. But if you are truly interested, give me a shout out, message me, comment here, and I can look into it. Uh, the next thing I have here, because I don't know what order I stitched them in. But the next one I have here is Silver Moon Tea. This was gifted to me from Laurel. Uh, she sent me the chart and the beads for it and I promptly kitted it up and she told me I had to start it right away so here I am. This is get being stitched on 32 count what's it called? Lilac from Fabric Flare. I do believe the fabric was gifted to me from J-Long too so it's like a gift of Palooza. I had to do, it was a wild space, so I could do whatever I wanted. Laurel's like, silver moon tea. I said, okay, silver moon tea. And I worked on her shoulder and the white right here. 
because all I had done before that was just this little bit of flower situation going on there. Yeah, I think it's looking good. I know it looks sparse and you really can't tell what it is yet. I'll get back to her eventually. You know how it is. Uh, this also is available in my Facebook group. Shameless plugs. If I know where they're available at, because I have some that aren't mine too, I will let you know. Uh, I am doing her on the Fabric Flare fabric, and I'm just using all the called for colors. I didn't change out anything for her. Okay. Next is One Nation. This has been floating around a lot. I know Janet Jabber recently finished hers, and Kat on Instagram went and finished two of them because she's a big show-off. And I have not finished mine, but I did get in a quick 200 or 400 stitches on it. Basic, I'll fold it in half first to show you where I got, where I was stitching on. Okay. I stitched basically this and some lines here. I'm not sure exactly how much. I think I might have done most of the red since the last time I showed it. I can't remember. You know, I have no memory, right? Anyway, this is stitched on 32 count creek bed brown, and I think it may be R&R &R or Lakeside. I always get them confused because I don't have the packaging, and it's been 10 years since I actually purchased it. But this is how much I have done total on it. It's looking pretty good. I'm over halfway done. I really need to work on some more stars. But I'm having fun with this part because it's so quick. Actually, most of it is quick. Once you get start doing the stars, you don't even really need to look at the pattern. Because it's so repetitive. But I'm enjoying it. It will get done. It will, I know, eventually. I keep on looking at some of these going, why am I not stitching? And then squirrel, I see three other things that I'm like, why am I not stitching? With this one, it's only got three colors. I did buy the called four colors. If anybody's looking to kit it up, it's um, the old crescent colors. And I honestly, my suggestion would be not to buy the antique lace. It's basically just white. I see no variegation, no difference in it. I would use either a white, I mean, depending on the aesthetic you want, either white B5200 or an accrue if you want it to look a little bit more rustic. I'm using my Bitsy Bob that I had gotten from That's So Kelly and one of my needle minders. But uh, since it's only three colors, it's not hard to figure out what's what. That works. Um, hmm. What else? I think I only did 200 this last time, but I think it came out once or twice. I feel like I worked on it a couple of times. So, next one I have here. Put this to the side. Is 3 for T. This was gifted to me from my friend Linda. She's Aussie so Stitcher. On here and on Instagram. And she started this. I was like, oh, I think I, I keep on seeing it. I've always wanted to stitch it. She sent it to me along with the beads. So I promptly kitted it up. And I'm using a fabric flare fabric. This one is called Allure. And it was from my fabric of the month. I'll show you the whole thing first. I wasn't sure I was going to use this fabric. I wasn't sure what I'd use it on. But then I figured, and I've said this before, so I'm going to repeat myself if you've watched my other videos. I thought it would look really cool 
and give them a more size perspective compared to the flowers and the tree to make them look smaller than they do. And I worked on some white. I think I worked on all white and then like a little bit of green. Working my way down here. Problem is where I worked, it's a four-way split on the pages where I, because I don't, I don't use the real copy. I photocopy it and sort of patch them together because it's so big and I don't, I know I'd fold it too much and end up losing some stitches in, in between, um, or symbols. Anyway, this is a 32 count and I think I only did about 200 stitches on it. But anyway, it's at a four-way impasse type thing, so I'm always bad with changing pages. I all, I'm always afraid that I'm going to totally screw it up. Uh, this one. I love this one. I love the way it's looking. I wish I could stop making mistakes on it. For some reason, I keep making mistakes. This one, Ink Circles, Hannah Mandala. And the information is there. I am using 32 count Georgia Peach Cobbler from Dixie Sampler Fabrics and Silks for You number PR067. So that's the design. I'll put it on this board, it'll be easier. And here's where I'm at. Now, problem. I was stitching along, had 139 stitches of the 200 stitches I needed to do over here, got around here and realized I am off by one. So, instead of putting in more wrong stitches, I left that there and started over here and filled in the rest of the stitches I needed. So when I go, I have to go pick all this out here, this, and these two lumps there. I'm off by one somewhere in here. I don't know. But... I also had problems up here and somewhere else on here. So, like I said, I've been messing up on this one a lot. But I really like the way it looks. I think it looks like a skin tone. And I think it looks like henna ink. So I'm happy with that. This is my hashtag BFF sale. My friend Gina is also working on this. And she ended up restarting hers. She totally restarted hers. So maybe... We're, we're condemned to uh, start, restart, pick, repick. Who knows? But I still like it. And I'm loving the socks for you. We shared a Hank. I think it's the perfect color. So I did get the 200 in there, even though I have to take more than half of what I put in out. It happens. Next one in my batch of what is going on. This is Your Own Kind of Fabulous. This was for, obviously, the letter Y. And I had to do 200 stitches. I ended up missing out on getting one color. I think it was like Butter Crunch. Yeah, Butter Crunch from Gast, which is just the spots right there in his wing. I don't even know that it's used anywhere else in the whole design. So I wasn't going to sweat it. I just went over and I picked from my dead threads and I picked out a color called Misty Orange and it's from a person that's not making threads anymore, dying threads. The rest is all the all called for color. This is how far I've gotten on him. Now he still needs his little fabulous things going on back here. There's more on the tail, more detail on the tail. Uh, which is my, is all back stitching. Or I'm mostly back stitching. So I put in this little ground area. I don't want to call it grass because it's not really grass. I don't know what he's standing on. But he's fabulously doing it, isn't he? And I did put in the back stitching on his feet. And I finished his head. So I think he's looking really good. This is on a 32 count fabric flare fabric that's what it looks like and this was another monthly piece that i had gotten last year and i think there's actually flowers down the bottom part of the what i cut off but i thought this part was best 
for him. He's looking good. So he got another 200 stitches in, and this is definitely a potential probable finish for this year because all I have left is this little stuff going on here, the music notes, and the words. I think I finished almost all the ground. Yeah, I finished the ground. So we're doing good. Uh, that's designs by Lisa, by the way, if you didn't see that. I think it's still available. You can check. Next, the letter A was called, and I had a couple of them, and decided on Anholt Castle. Needed 200 stitches in. I started this, got a minimal amount of stitches in. I think I might have picked it up for like 100 stitches for something another time, and that was it. This was a freebie on Artisy. A year or two ago, I think. It, was, it had to be two years ago. And I downloaded it. And then when we started an Artisy sale, which was really just a start along instead of a stitch along, I decided I wanted to stitch this one and kitted it up quickly. I am doing this on 18 count Ada because it's only, I only need a 23 by 18 piece. And I have plenty of uh, 18 count for some smaller full coverages. You could probably still get this on Artisy, but you have to purchase it. It's not free anymore. And that's where I'm at with that. Basically, I filled in a whole bunch of stuff in here and sort of feathered around. I know. Oh, I, I remember. I had a bunch of park threads. And since I'm using the Pattern Keeper now, I figured why park if I don't have to. So I went and used up, that's why it's all confetti. I used up what was parked instead of trying to finish off block by block. But you could see the little branches in there. So it's something, right? All right. I actually haven't stitched in the past two days, well, three days if you count today, because I haven't stitched yet. But I do plan on stitching. I have bags to do. I, I finished all the ironing and stuff on them. But, um, I'm trying to figure out a different way to sort of do mine instead of using the double-sided tape stuff to hold the tabs down onto the vinyl before I sew it. It's gunking up my machine and causing me a lot of aggravation and a lot of time so I'm trying a different way and I've been sort of slow going on it but I'll get them done I always do next is the dragon and the fairy oh crap revelation I might have messed up I always call this the fairy and the dragon. I use this for the letter F. But it's actually called the dragon and the fairy. Sit with me while I look. I don't think I have anything with a letter F. But this is easily fixed. No, I have nothing with the letter F. I actually have a printout of all my whips. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just leave this out and I'll put in another 200 stitches. Because if you end up having to do ghost stitch, you do 400 stitches instead of 200. And I don't mind putting in another 200 on this. Because it's looking good. And I will show you. Alright. So, this is being stitched on... 32 count electric wisps and this was part of my fabric flare uh, my fabric party dot com yeah my fabric party anyway it was a monthly from last year 
and this is where I'm at. What I did was I worked in on here on the wing and filled in a whole bunch here. So I'll just continue and fill in more. I'll put in another 200 stitches and log that in. That way it's all official. And I think it's looking pretty decent. This right here, this big gouge out right here is her wing. And it's a green. So, so far I'm just working on the dragon's wing. I'm trying to get that done. And this, again, was part of a page break. So it took me a little bit longer, but not too bad. I will put this to the side and get those stitches in tonight so I don't forget. Do this. this was, I started this last year right before my birthday. It was like friendship day or kindness day. And since Belinda had gifted this one to me, Belinda and I plus Sarah King went and started this on friendship or kindness day or whatever and uh it was in november 13th or something like that anyway but this is still available it is a joan elliott if you are interested next up i had to do something that started with an l i had a few i chose this one this is a lady named Ella, and it's from Ingleside Imaginarium, and basically Brittany went and took a rendering from Ebony Short, she's a fashion designer, and made it into a cross stitch, and this was for the, um, you had to make a donation, they didn't tell you how much, whatever you wanted to a couple of sites that she suggested that fight for uh, equality. And um, this is for the hashtag representation matter sale and the diversity inclusion sale. And I just love this. It reminds me of being in the costume shop and looking at the renderings. Plus I like the cause and it's just beautiful. So I decided she needed to be on a nice rich color. And my friend Jay Long had this piece of fabric and sent it to me. It is, because I forget. Did I write it down? I hope I wrote it down. I think it's 32 count. Oh, here it is. <laughs> now, it's 28 Roseland from Under the Sea Fabrics. Roseland, Rosalind? I think it's Roseland. It's got an E, right? And I put in 200 stitches. This one took a little bit longer. And I think I'm slow walking this because there's so many quarter stitches. Everything's quarter stitch. There's quarter stitches you can't see. But, and this is right side up. Yes. Okay, so I did all these little stitches around here. I did all that gray. I finished off black in here. And I filled in this light gray. Did I? No, I, st I filled in the darker gray. I had the lighter gray. So I did the 200 stitches. Both of these needle minders are available on my group. And I think she's going to look ab fab when she's done. If I can get through all the quarter stitches. I mean, I have a Teresa Wensler going, so I should be able to deal with quarter stitches, right? I haven't touched that one either, but just that. Okay. What is next? I have... This one's next. It's the Mini Space Traveler. Now, when I started this before, when I first thought I was going to do it, when I looked at it, I got it, and I was like, okay, I'm only going to do half of it. Because I don't need all that. And then I really liked it. And I decided I was going to do the whole thing. And I think this is one. Did I restart this one? I don't think I did. Anyway. So. I 
I don't know. I don't remember if I restarted this one or not. Anyway, so I was going to do the whole thing. So when I cut the fabric, I did it for the whole thing. But the more I look at it and the more I stitch on it, the more I don't want to do the whole entire thing. So I have made the decision and marked it off on my pattern keeper. Everything here over is not going to be in there. So where I, I marked it off at the pages. So it's like a page and a little bit, page and a little bit, page and a little bit, and then a little bit down here. So essentially I took off three pages and with the little bits, it's probably about equal to four pages. So it's going to look like that when I'm done. Then I think that'll be just fine. I thought about cropping it closer, but I think that's a better size there. So anyway, this is retired. You can no longer get this. And I know I, I hear it from everybody. I wish I would have got it before. So this is where I am. I had to do 200 stitches on something that started with the layer M's. And since it's mini space traveler, I decided to do the M instead of the S. And I did a whole bunch of blue. I know you're shocked. I did blue. But I did a whole bunch of blue in here. It's looking good. I think the, pa the page end is here. And the bottom is somewhere around here. But it's looking good, and that is chronic in there. And this is available in my shop. I am stitching this on 22 count. I did write that down. It's 22 count, one over one. I had a parked thread in here, and I think that's why, why I started where I was. And I did that parked thread and then decided to finish doing the big block of blue. It was just easier. And what is next? Last one I stitched on. Last one I stitched on was Dark Queen of the Sea. I do not have a picture of it because it's that mystery sale, which is held by Autumn Lane Stitchery and Under the Sea Fabrics. I ordered the un Under the Sea Fabrics. Uh, fabric and accessory, I guess you can say, when it first came out. So I am using that fabric that it called for. I'm using the threads that it called for. And here it is. I had to do 200 stitches and I was like, oh, I'm still on part two. Meanwhile, I'm a lot further than I thought I was. I thought I was here. I had finished all this though and I just had like five stitches down here which were this color and so I filled in a lot of there a whole 200 stitches which makes me happy that is also available on my group page and I'm trying to see yeah, I, I don't know how much more I have to do in part two. Let's look. I have less than half of part two to do. Basically, her little hip thingamajiggy is going on there. I don't know if they're gills or what. Or, I don't know, fins of some sort. Her, her hip jewelry. Um... And then I'll move up from there. I am giving her the little cover-up. I do know that. But I haven't decided on the hair. I'm still not sure what to do about the hair. And I decided I was going to wait. Wait till I get there. Once I get there, then I'll decide what will be uh, stitched on her. What's next? I have some new things and I have my giveaway winner. I did want to let you know that uh, before I, w when I was getting everything ready today, I was chatting with some friends and Vicki from R Vicki Reading Stitching. She said there is a freebie and I have it written down here. It's the free horror sale. It's from Horror As Asylum Cross Stitch Sale, it's called. It's a group on Facebook 
and I don't know if I'm gonna do because me and mystery sales are not great friends anyway but it's there it's free I figured I'd let you know I will put the link below in my description so you can join the group or at least see what's going on and it looks like basically they're giving you the house outline and didn't the witchy stitcher and another one did the same thing I think it was pumpkin forest or something like that no it wasn't pumpkin forest it was you guys are probably hollering at me anyway there's a couple of them this looks like it's going to be similar to that so i'm curious to see what the characters look like my problem with the other ones were the characters had those big heads with the little dot eyes and that's not me as long i think it's cute but it's not something i'll stitch uh that's the free horror sale um there's also another one that's going to happen on april 23rd sarah my stitching kingdom just let me know today that there is a free Alice in Wonderland sale going on from Owl Forest Stitchery. I will put that link below. And it's a free digital download that's coming soon. And if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it's at April 23rd, I think. So you can see that on the website if you click the link below. That looks interesting. It looks like it's going to be along the lines of, I think they did the Wizard of Oz one, didn't they? It looks like the same setup in the blurred vision that they get, version that they give you. So those are happening. I have the under 1000 sub club hashtag. And this time I only have one for you because I didn't go looking too much i i watched some floss tube i caught up with some of the ones that are, that are regular i tend to for longer for for those that have longer ones i tend to like watch one or two maybe for those that have shorter ones i'll usually catch up with them all and i was sort of going back and forth with that when i was watching my floss tube this time and one of them that I went and caught up on was Stitchy Shannon 85. Uh, she is, I'm looking at my notes here. She's on, at the time that I watched, she only had 566. And I don't understand that because she's, she's adorable. I love, she, she stitches on a lot of, uh, the Frosted Pumpkin. That was the, she stitches a lot of their stuff. She also sews, she crochets, she, she makes those little crochet animals and stuff and characters. And I, I can never say what it, anagorium, I don't know. I can never say the word. I can never remember how to pronounce it. But she does a lot of those things. And she's been doing some great uh, sewing. I've been watching her on Instagram. She's got a big present on Insta, presence on Instagram. Um, she's in Canada. I know she... I'm pretty sure she was selling some of her stuff, but I can't be sure. You'd have to go check her out. I will put her information in the description box below. She's Stitchy Shannon 85 I know that's her handle on Instagram, and I think it's just, it might just be Stitchy Shannon on YouTube. So check her out. Uh, what else do I have? That's it for that one. So I only had one this time, but that's fine. You can go watch Shannon for a while. What have I received in the mail? Because we all know I don't go anywhere. Not often. I went and I was, I don't know, looking at people's posts and stuff, as I do. And I saw Rebel Stitcher, and I was like, ooh, let me see what she's got. So I checked her out. She is on Instagram at Rebel Stitcher Designs. And she had some needle minders. And yes, I know. I sell needle minders. She had ones that I didn't have that I needed. So I went and purchased three of them. This is Espresso Patronum. And this is Bob Ross. And it says, I know it's kind of hard to read. No mistake. No mistakes. Just happy accidents i should know what that says just making sure no mistakes just happy accidents 
and then the Kamala shoe. Breaking the glass ceiling. I had to have this one. This is really strong, this magnet. And this is metal, so it makes it even stronger. But there's her card. She's on Floss Tube. She's on Facebook and Instagram. I have not checked her out on Facebook, but I saw her on Instagram and went and just, it was easy. I just said me, please, on the stuff. Gave, gave her my uh, PayPal information. She invoiced me. I paid. I got stuff in the mail. It's not that easy. Uh, then someone, I say someone, who was in Virtual Stitchers. I think it was Shannon. Which is not the Stitchy Shannon 85. This is a different Shannon. And she said DMC was having a sale on Etoile. And they had the whole entire collection for $35. Which is half off. And it was free shipping. So I went and ordered from DMC. It got here pretty quick. It's all the Etoile colors. You can see the shine. See that? Those little dots. Yay. I didn't take I I got it yesterday. I just took it out and left it in here. It's all 35 of 12 colors. I know I have I think that white that looks gray and uh black and I might have another color, but I think I have the red too. But that's okay. I figured I'd get the whole set. I was thinking about buying it when I was at Joanne's, but I was like, eh. I'm glad I waited. Gotta love a sale. All right. Pro shop tip. When you are shopping at Silks for You, why pay the $15 for shipping all by yourself? You should definitely shop with a friend. It cuts the shipping in half. <laughs> so that's what I did. I went in with a friend of mine. She wanted some Silks for You. So did I. I went shopping, ordered it, then I just got it and I cost an extra three dollars to ship it off to her and we still saved money in the long run. I'm all for that. What did I get? Because, you know, the two or three hanks that I, two hanks that I showed a few weeks ago wasn't enough. This got here within two and a half, two weeks, which is not bad. I bought this fabric. This fabric was not named. It's like a, it's a little bit more pink than a, it's got lavender with the pink. And it's just number 014. I don't know if they have more. It is a fat quarter of 32 count. And I figure why not. Then I didn't take it totally out of the bag. This is PR168. Look at this color. I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. I might have had an idea when I bought it. I have no idea now. But this is a great, like, cobalt blue. I don't think there's too much variegation in it. Not a lot. It's not very noticeable. But I am loving it. And then, why not? I ordered the little mix and match. How many skeins is it? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I thought they'd be good mixers if you need one here or there. Especially if you're doing... Some of the long dogs is for a majority of one color, but then there's a couple of things in there that you might want to do a different color. So I thought getting the mix and match like that would, would help. And I know there's a couple ink circles that do the same thing. So let me put that back in there. Ha! It fell off the other end. Hang on, guys. Got a learning curve going on here. Not the sharpest tool in the shed. I'll be all right. I literally put it in the hoop part of this bag instead of in the bag. Okay. So there's that. Then I received my fabric of the month. 
from Fortnite Fabrics. I did change to 28 count for this year, and this is Thelma and Louise. Very subtle modeling. It's like a pink and a bluish. Loving it. I don't know if they're if they have extras that they sell on the site, but this is the duos package. Loving that. All right, and another piece of fabric because I don't have any fabric. This is Needle Bling's Wapo Blue. Look how bright! Look how bright that is. Thirty-two count quarter yard I gotten from them. There's a little bit of modeling here and there on that, but it's a pretty decent solid color. I have no idea what I'm going to use. Oh, that's a wrinkle. That's not. There you go. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on it, but I love Teresa and Brian and figured why not? I need to have it just in case, just in case, guys. And I've got some charts here. Um, the Needle Blings. She sells on her Etsy. You can buy it directly from her off at her Etsy or... You can support your LNS or ONS. God, my, foot, my foot fell asleep. The dog's sleeping on it. Sorry about that, buddy. Um, I know Garon Stitchery's got it. I'm pretty sure Cindy Sorley's got it. I don't know who else online has it. Uh, but there's ways to get it. Just take a look for it. Uh... I ordered this from I remembered where I got it for a minute there and now I can't remember where I got it from okay I'll put that off to the side for now okay when I ordered the WAPO blue no oh I remember where I got now Okay, so I ordered Wapo Blue from Teresa, but I got in on the Needleworker Expo, Needlework Expo, and these I got from Cindy Sorley. I love you till the cows come home. Love that. I love cows. I'm so glad they did a cow series this year. And then coffee time because, of course, coffee. I am not crazy about the orange color. Um, besides orange definitely means decaf and that should not happen. So I probably will change colors on this. Probably will change colors on that. Alright. I think I have that red pom-pom. What did she? Yep. Rudy's nose. Yes, I do have that. That's from Dame to the Needle. It's a great color. Alright. Now, I also put in an order, and I think I had these from last time, but I totally forgot they were shoved in the side of my bin. I did an order from Not Forgotten Farms. That is Lori Brecklin. Love her. And she has a sale going on. It's been going on for a while. It's 20% off her chart. So I put in an order on three. This one's called Chimney Santa. She is very prim in her designs. That's adorable. They're all pretty small. Basket of Jacks. That's cute. And Cedar Wax Wing. Now, I see what she did here, but I don't think I'd finish it like that. It's not. It's okay. But I don't think I'll finish it like that. I think I'd do something totally different, so there's that. And those are kind of similar if you look. <laughs> it's okay. But yes. I have those. And lastly, from the stuff I ordered, I put in an order with keepsakes. Got my cards. That's the information. No, it's not. That's the information. <laughs> you can put in an order by 
email them barbara at keepsakes.com or you can call their number and talk to somebody and put an order in that way so there's that all right i what did i order these are also expo items i wanted to get the 2021 santas santa which will go with the rest of my prairie school or santas i love the attitude this guy's given I, he totally wants to either i'm not sure i mean let's follow the eye line is he looking at the raccoon or is he like totally going to get that quail? Unless he's rolling his eyes at this guy that's touching him. I'm so there for that. Like, don't touch me. <laughs> anyway, got this. Think that's cute. That's going to go in with the rest of my prairie schooler sampler. Uh, my prairie schooler Santas that I'm doing on all the same fabrics. I also put in an order for Madame Chantilly's winter hot cocoa. What is what is she calling it? Win yeah, winter hot cocoa. I just think they're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. And I also bought butterfly butterfly cloche. Now, I've been Back and forth with this one. I like it. Not sure if I'll stitch it. I like it. Not sure if i stitch it. But. This part's not my favorite. All this. These are. And when I saw these. It gave me the idea that. I could just do a couple of them. Right? Which, there you go. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. And it looks like this. I was just looking. This one and this one are the same, just different colorways. So I like it. I bought it. It's mine. What will I stitch off of it? Have no clue. How will I stitch it? To be determined. And then I received a gift from my friend J Long. There was a Heaven Earth Design sale. And she went window shopping. Now, she ended up buying, she told me she bought uh, the Dinosaur Museum, which I bought last year and have not kitted that up yet. So she got Dinosaur Museum. And obviously, I really like that one too. But she looked at my wish list and decided to get me this. This one looks like Andy Griffith met Frank. And this is... If he was in the Andy Griffith show, this is what his desk would probably look like. So, if you don't know, my other half is Frank, and he is a deputy. So, I really like this one. I love the old-timey look. It's, uh, it also reminds me of, um, Saturday Evening Post type thing, which I've always liked. This is a Donna Gelsinger. Dona? Is it Dona? Or Donna. Anyway, love that. Thank you, Jay Long. I printed out the front. I have it. Yeah, I think I imported it on my uh, pattern keeper yesterday. I have not kitted it up yet because I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. But that's that. All right. My plans, and then I'll tell you who the winner is. I do plan on stitching those other 200 stitches on um, that dragon and the fairy, not the fairy and the dragon. I will stitch the other 200 in there to be fair. And then I am going to stitch on this one. This is Garden Prelude. And this is being stitched on Fabric Flare. It's uh, Northern Lights. I think I've decided I want to try to get this part of her dress done so I can move over some away from the edge. It'd be nice. And I have to do 200 stitches on there because it was a, a G was the letter. And um, so I have 200 stitches to put in on her. This was a gift from Matt, who is MBC Stitcher. MCB? MBC? Yeah, MBC Stitcher. And uh, I love that. And it matches her colors. 
So I'll get the couple the couple hundred stitches in on her. She's been waiting for a couple of days for that, by the way. Lady in waiting. Um, those are my uh, plans for now. Continue with that, and then for for the winners, I did the common picker, and the first winner I got was. Hang on, because I had to take screenshots, and I'll put the pictures in here. Too many notifications popping up on my phone. Do, 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 do. Okay. The first one was Nancy Barris. And Nancy says, what I did, back up, back, 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 back. What I said was, tell me a way that you keep in touch or... You know, show your kindness to your friends and remind them that you're thinking about them. That type of thing. And she said she used to call every week. I've been so depressed. I already have a winder. Please give someone else. Give it to someone else. Would love the thread drops. And she said since January 2020, uh, January 2021, I've lost my mom. Not COVID. My cousin, significant other, and dear family friend, both COVID. I'm angry. At least I know Nancy is with my parents and I will see all of them again. I've decided to write or call each week. They may not be there tomorrow. Thank you for your videos. Nancy has been commenting on my videos for a while now. And um, I am so sorry that you've had those losses. Uh, Loose and mom's not easy. I did that a couple of years ago. And your friends, it's just, it's too much sometimes. And I hope... Uh, I hope you can come out of your little funk. It's okay to mourn. Let's not stay there. Okay. Um, I, I've i got lost. I, I, a lot of people. I don't know how to say it. Um, I mourn. But I don't mourn like most people do. Now that I'm older. I seem to cry a little bit more than I used to. But. Uh, I try to look at the better things. I try to remember the good things. And everybody has their moments. I totally get it. But I hope nobody stays there. And if you feel like you're staying there, please get some help. For real. It's not a joke. It's it's serious. Get some help. Whether it be through personal therapy, through d talking to your friends, or getting some professional help. Some people need it. it and, and it's okay. It doesn't mean you're weak. It just needs you, mean, means you need help. Crap, I, I need help getting off the floor, so there's that. Um, Nancy, I did take heed to what you said, and I decided what I'd do is make some more thread drops, so I am going to send you two packs of thread drops. Um, and I did another comment picker to get the winder and thread drops. And the second person was Jacqueline Liebfried. I hope I said your name right. Um... Jacqueline said, I try to call or email my older friends as often as possible. Mostly call because they like to talk and not type. I like to share my crafty gifts with other friends, i.e. pin keeps, cross stitch items, wallet, card holders, lab quilts for those going through major illnesses. Great ideas. Always, always great to check in with some people. And sometimes checking in with somebody might be... A lengthy phone call and sometimes you know sending them a funny meme is okay too to others so Jacqueline get in touch with me I will after I get all this uploaded I will comment on your comment to notify you and um, you can email me at stitch and button uh, stitch and button at gmail.com or uh, if you're on Instagram search me out on stitch and button crafts and send me a message that way i i will try to remember to check my email for stitch and button i will try to remember to check my email for stitch and button <laughs> i don't know why i don't check that more often but this is what you want it's the winder and a set of thread drops along with the ring and the stickers, the removable stickers to put on the thread drop so you can write your numbers. 
I think I am done. I will try to remember to check my stitch and button email. I feel like I should do like a whole uh, Simpson thing where I'm writing on the chalkboard. So until next time, which should be in another two weeks, I hope everyone is having, if you're not having a great day, I hope it's a better day. How about that? It's been 55 minutes, and I hope I made your day just a little bit better. Don't forget, don't let anyone steal your sunshine. Bye.